In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the head of this lion basket. And for this part of the project, you will need yarn, safety eyes, a safety nose, some stuffing, and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. For round one, we will begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up a loop. We're gonna chain one to secure the yarn. And now for round one, we'll do six single crochet into that magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we'll grab that tail and give it a pull. That closes up the hole. You'll place your stitch marker and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And to do an increase, you'll go into the stitch, do one single crochet, back into the same stitch for another single crochet. And that is an increase. And now you're just going to continue to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, our repeating sequence will be three single crochet, two, three, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round six, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 40 stitches. For round seven, our repeating sequence will be four single crochet, two, three, four, followed by one increase. And now you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. For round eight, our repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one increase. There's two, three, four, five, and then one increase. And you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 56 stitches. For round nine, our repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then one increase. And now you'll continue to repeat six single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 64 stitches. For rounds 10 through 20, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of round 20, you should still have 64 stitches and it will also be a good time to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. Before moving on, we're going to add the safety eyes. And so we're going to place them between rounds 16 and 17. So start counting your rows up here at the very beginning. Go down to round 16 and place your safety eye between round 16 and 17. I've already got one in place. And we're going to put eight stitches in between the two eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just poke the safety eye in between those stitches. And then we're going to grab the backing and just pop that into place. If you have trouble popping it on, this is a handy little tool. Um, all it is is a old stylus that I took the tip off of and it fits perfectly over the post and you just push down and that can help put that backing on. And there we go, we have attached the safety eyes. For round 21, we're going to do a repeating sequence of six single crochet followed by one decrease. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and now we'll do a decrease. So go into the stitch, bring up a loop, go to the next stitch, bring up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull through all three of those loops. And that is how you do a decrease. And so now you're going to continue to repeat six single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 56 stitches. For round 22, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 56 stitches. For round 23, we're going to do a repeating sequence of five single crochet followed by one decrease. So there's one two, three, four, five, and now one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. For round 24, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 48 stitches. For round 25, our repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one decrease. Here's one, two, three, Four, and then one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 40 stitches. For round 26, we'll begin with four single crochet. Two, three, Four. And now we're going to do a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by eight single crochet and you're going to do that three times. So decrease, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's once. And now we'll do a decrease. And then eight single crochet. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two. We'll do another decrease. And then eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's three. Now we're going to do one decrease and finish the round with four single crochet. Here's one, two, three, four. And that finishes the round. And at this point, you should have 36 stitches. For round 27, we're going to do a repeating sequence of four single crochet, followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, and then one decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round 28, we'll do a repeating sequence of three single crochet followed by one decrease. And so you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. It's also a good time to add the stuffing and fill up the head. For round 29, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one decrease. And you're going to continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round 30, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For rounds 31 and 32, we remove the stitch marker and you're just going to decrease all the way around continuously until the hole is closed. And I've already done a number of decreases and so I've just got a few more to do. So just continuously decrease. And then when it gets down to where you really can't do any more decreases, you'll take your hook go through the stitch, go straight across and out one of the other stitches, grab the yarn and do a slip stitch, and then go under this next stitch here and do one more slip stitch. And then you tie off and cut the yarn. And then I like to thread my yarn needle and weave in this end. 
And what I like to do is just come back here to some of these other stitches and come up through the stitch to um, pull down that little bump that happened when I was doing my decreases. So I'm just weaving in the end here, pulling nice and tight. And then that just kind of flattens that out. And I'll go under one more stitch to tie another knot. So before pulling it all the way through, take the needle through that loop, give it a pull, and then just hide the tail inside the head. So run the needle through the head, and then you can cut off the excess yarn. And there we go. The head is now finished. For the muzzle, we're going to begin with the white yarn, continuing with our 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and we'll start with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop. Chain one to secure your yarn, and for round one, we'll do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. Now we'll grab that little tail, give it a pull. That closes up the hole. And you can place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. So insert your hook. Do one single crochet, back into that same stitch for another single crochet. There's an increase, and now you're going to continue to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, our repeating sequence will be one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, our repeating sequence will be three single crochet, two, three, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round five, and we're going to change colors and start using the gold yarn. So this final stitch was an increase. And so I'm going to pull that last loop out leaving two loops on my hook, grab the yarn, and pull it through those two loops to complete that stitch. And then we'll move the stitch marker, and we're ready to move on. For rounds six through eight, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Once you come to the end of round eight, you should still have 30 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round eight. And now is a good time to go ahead and cut off that white yarn and weave in those tails. For round nine, 
we're going to do a repeating sequence of eight single crochet followed by one decrease. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now one decrease. So go into the stitch, bring up your loop, go to the next stitch, bring up a loop, grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. And that is your decrease. And so now you'll continue to repeat eight single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 27 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round nine. I'm going to remove that stitch marker and then do one slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you're leaving a long enough tail to sew the muzzle onto the head. And then just pull it through. And there we go. When you're ready to attach your safety nose, we're going to place it between rounds four and five. And you'll just pop it through in between those stitches there and place your backing. And to help push the backing on, if you need extra help, this is just a stylus that I took the tip off of. And it just pops over the post and it works really well for getting that backing on all the way. And there we go, the nose is attached. When you're ready to attach the muzzle to the head, you're gonna grab a little bit of stuffing so it can hold its shape while you're sewing it on, and then you can add more if you need to before you close it up. You'll also need to thread your yarn needle, and we're going to place this to where the nose is centered between the eyes and the top of the muzzle is about one round below the eyes. And to attach the muzzle, we're just going to go under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the muzzle. And under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the muzzle. And you're going to continue to do this all the way around. Make sure you stop and check to make sure it's staying centered as you sew it on. And I'm going to continue and I will meet you back here where I started. And here I've worked my way all the way around. I did go ahead and add a little bit more stuffing just to fill out the muzzle. And I've just got this one last stitch to do. Pull nice and tight. And now we'll go under a stitch in the head just to bring that down. And then go under the stitch. And before pulling it all the way through, take your yarn needle through this loop and then pull. And that will tie it off for you. And now we'll just take the yarn needle, poke it through the head, and cut the yarn. And if you pull a little bit while you're cutting, the tail will completely hide itself inside the head. And there we go, the muzzle is attached. And now all we need to do is add a little bit of a smile. To add the smile to the muzzle, we're going to cut a long strip of brown yarn, put a slip knot on one end, and then take the other end and thread it through your yarn needle. And we're going to be following along one of the rows to make the smile. So I'm gonna come in and go under one of those stitches. When you get to the loop from your slip knot, you'll put your needle in there and give it a pull to tighten it up and then tighten it down. And we'll weave in that end after we're done. So now we're going to take the yarn needle and go in 
the stitch that we came out of and then go to the next stitch. Take the yarn needle before pulling it all the way through, put the yarn needle through that loop and then give it a pull. And then back through the stitch you just came out of, move to the next one and repeat. So through the loop and give it a pull. And you're just gonna continue to do this until the smile is the way you want it. I think I'll do at least one more of these. I'm just gonna do a little half smile here. And so to tie off, I'm gonna move to the next stitch and come back up that way. Take the yarn needle through the loop and give it a pull. And that will tie the knot to secure it. And then we just take the yarn needle and poke it through the head. Bring that tail to where it will be hidden inside the head. Come over here to the starting tail and do the same thing. So just go into that stitch and bring it through the head. Now take the scissors and snip off the excess yarn. And then you can take your yarn needle and puff this back out the way it was supposed to be. And there, the tails are hidden, the smile is on, and we're ready to make the ears. For the ears, we're going to use our gold yarn and continue with the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And we'll start with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, bring up the loop, chain one to secure your yarn. And now for round one, we'll do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five and six. And now grab the tail and give it a pull. Place your stitch marker and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round four, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For rounds five through eight, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of round eight, you should still have 24 stitches. For round nine, we're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet, followed by one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round nine. I've removed my stitch marker. I've also gone ahead and wove in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. And to finish the ear, we're just going to fold it flat. Take your hook through the stitches on both sides of that fold. So you're going through both sides and do a single crochet. And you're going to continue to do this all the way across the ear. So going through the stitches on both sides of the fold 
Just continue to do one single crochet all the way across. Make sure you're lining up your stitches so they stay even. And I've just got a couple more here to do. And then when you come to this very last stitch, you'll do one slip stitch and tie off. And then cut your yarn. Make sure you leave a long enough tail to sew the ear onto the head. And you will need to make two of these. Once you've made both of the ears, you'll be ready to attach them to the head. And I've already got one attached. We're a few rows away from the center and a little bit towards the back. And so we'll just line that second one up to match the other side. Thread your yarn needle. And now to attach, we're just gonna go under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the ear. And repeat under a stitch in the head, through a stitch in the ear. And you'll just do this working all the way across the ear. So under a stitch in the head, through a stitch in the ear. And continuing, just got a few more here. Making sure to keep them even as we go. And there's one more. So there's that last stitch of the row of the ear. And so now I'm going to go under a stitch in the head. And I actually like to take my yarn needle through one of those side stitches just to pull the edge down so it's even with the head. And I'm gonna just stick the yarn needle through and come back to one of these other stitches and just go under a stitch, take the yarn needle through the loop and pull to make the knot. And then we'll just run that yarn needle through the head so we can hide the tail and cut off the excess yarn. And there we go. The ears are now attached. To add the mane, you're going to cut a whole bunch of strips of yarn and these measure I can wrap it around my hand of course my hand may be smaller than yours um, so you could just eyeball it and so we're going to take two strands I'm going to fold those two strands in half and run the folded end through the yarn needle and then to add the main, all you're going to do is you'll go under a stitch bring it part way through and then grab that loop that you just made grab the loose ends here bring it through the loop and give it a pull and that will secure it in place and then you just move on to your next one Fold the two strands in half, run the folded end through the needle, and then move to the next stitch. And you're going to do this working all the way around the head. So you'll work all the way around, around the back of the head, under the main or under the muzzle. Um, try to frame the face with the um, um, main and yep so you've got lots of yarn to deal with here this does take quite some time have fun and here I have finished adding all the strips of yarn for the main I did leave a strip 
in the back of the head because this is where it will attach to the handle of the basket. And then I trimmed the yarn down to the length that I wanted and now it is ready to attach to the basket. Now that the head of the lion is done, we're ready to attach it to the basket. And so we'll take a really long piece of yarn, um, thread the yarn needle, and then on the other end of the yarn, we'll make a slip knot. And I'm going to attach it to one of the stitches on the back of the lion's head. So go under a stitch, and then when you get to the loop from the slip knot, place your needle in that loop and then pull it tight. And then you'll pull your yarn the rest of the way through there. And then we can weave in this end after we're done. So now we're going to take our basket and attach the head to the basket. So I'm going to line up this strip in the back where I didn't put any of the brown yarn. I'm going to line it up with the handle and the front. So I'm just going to set the basket down, set the head down so I get it lined up. And then we're going to take our yarn needle and come through the handle. So go through the handle, pull nice and tight so the head stays secure. And then we'll come back over. I'm going to loosen it so you can see. Then we're going to come back over to the head and go under a stitch. And then we're going to repeat this process all the way down the front of the basket and the back of the head. So then you'll pull tight to make sure it stays secure. And then you can take your yarn needle, move over to the next stitch Bring it out through the other side. And pull tight. And then we'll come to a stitch in the lion's head, which is going to be hard for you to see, but going under a stitch in the lion's head. It's a bit of an awkward process, especially with all these brown pieces from the main, but there's the general idea. So now I've gone through a stitch in the head, I'm gonna come back over to the handle and go across. So just like that. Now I've worked my way down and go through a stitch in the head. And then come through a stitch in the handle. And so there, I've worked my way down the handle. And now for this part down here that includes the basket, you can take your needle and go through the basket part and then try to catch a uh, stitch in the head. So I'm coming all the way out. I 
And I'm just gonna catch a stitch here on the back of the head. And then poke the yarn back through to the inside of the basket. And when I do that, I'm also going to try to catch part of the handle. And so you can continue that process all the way down the head, although it seems pretty secure right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie off. So I'm gonna take my needle under a stitch in the handle. And before pulling it all the way through, Take the yarn needle through the loop and pull tight to create the knot. And then I'm just gonna hide that tail inside the handle, just like that. And I apologize if I have gone off camera during this process. It is a little bit awkward, but there we go. The head is attached, and then I just gotta weave in this beginning tail. And now our basket is done. And here we have the finished basket. And to find the tutorial for how to make the basket part of this project, you can find the link for that in the description box.